Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 18.4. Now we're just days away from the release of iOS 18.4 to the public, which is actually a great update, bringing a ton of new features and changes to iPhone users. Now this update, of course, will have more than 50 new features and changes and it will be one of the biggest updates to iOS 18 since its release. But there are a few things, of course, that you should know before you update your device to iOS 18.4 and in this video I will share with you guys eight things that I believe are very very important every iPhone user must know before they try to update their device to the new iOS 18.4. Now first of all we're talking about the release date now as you probably know Apple has talked about iOS 18.4 being released in April. We know that we're currently on the RC version which is the last release to the devs before it moves on and it gets released to the public and the release to the public will happen next week. Well, Apple's had said that it's in April and I'm expecting it to be the April 1st. So usually they will release and like a big update on a Monday, but this time I think it will be released on April 1st. Just like last year with iOS 17.4, it was released on the 5th of March, it was a Tuesday. And this year again, I'm expecting Apple to actually release iOS 18.4 on April 1st, which will be this upcoming Tuesday. The next thing you need to know is the size of the update. Now this being a big update, it will probably be quite large in size. Like right here you can see the release candidate, it's actually over 7 gigs, but that's a complete reinstallation of iOS on the devices that had been gone through the beta stages. But if you're on iOS 18.3 or 18.3.1 or 18.3.2, whichever one you're at, you're probably gonna get somewhere around 2 to 3 gigs of an update on your device once you try to update to iOS 18.4. That's why you need to have enough storage on your iPhone in order to be able to install this update. Now, if it comes in at around two to three gigs, I would suggest that you have at least six or seven gigabytes of free storage on your iPhone. Now, to make sure that that happens, all you have to do is just go to your settings, head on to the general settings, and then go right here under the iPhone storage and see how much free storage you have. If you don't have an enough free storage, you can do things like Right here you can see empty the recently deleted photos or just go ahead and go through your videos or your apps and just delete some of them before you try to install this update. Like there are a ton of apps like you can see here the Snapchat app in this case it basically has 20 gigs of storage here on my iPhone. Of course all of this is documents and data so you can just delete an app after you install the update then you can go ahead and reinstall the app on your device that's where you that way you will actually have a ton of free storage updating is of course pretty straightforward unless you had one of the betas installed on your iPhone but we're going to talk about that right now so first of all head on to the general settings go under software update and right here you will find the update for iOS 18.4 as long as you have enough battery you have free storage you can just go ahead and update from here but if you're on one of the betas of iOS 18.4 then things are a bit different now of course right now you can go ahead and update to the RC version and that will be the exact same version as the one that gets released to the public. If you have updated to the RC version like I have right here, you don't get an update once this gets released to the public because you already have the exact same update. But if you're on one of the betas and you don't want to update to the RC version, you just want to install the public release, then you can do that as well. So you can do this only before updating to the RC version. So if you have the RC version update right here, you don't want to install it, you want to install the public beta, head on to the beta updates here and just turn it off. When you refresh it, it will actually remove the RC version from this page and then it will show you the public release once it is available for the public. Now another thing you need to know are of course some of the main features but there are also features missing that we have been expecting to get with iOS 18.4 like the new Apple intelligence features for Siri. Those are not coming to iOS 18, those will be part of iOS 19 but you still get some pretty cool features like the prioritize notifications right here where you can enable this feature and then you can also choose to enable or disable it for any of your apps. Of course you get a lot more here with this update like you get the ambient music on the control center you get visual intelligence and that's really cool if you have an iphone 15 pro 
or a 15 pro max you can just head on right here to the action button and you can set up visual intelligence which you can also set on the control center because even on the control center we have new buttons where you can set up the visual intelligence and also talk and type to Siri. those are cool new features added to ios 18.4 there are also some really cool new features added to the app store which also are very useful the ability to pause the downloads and the updates as well directly from here so once it starts downloading you get also that pause button and then you get the resume button now the only bad thing here is that if you just want to completely cancel the download you'll have to do that through the home screen you won't be able to actually do it from here and if you have apple intelligence you also get summarized reviews for apps and games on the app store which is really cool basically a summary of all the reviews that have been done on that app or game now of course one of the most important things that you need to know when updating to a new software on your device is the battery life well the battery life on ios 18.4 is quite solid not the best ever but it's actually pretty good so right here we have a battery of the iphone 15 pro max with the maximum capacity at 91 percent most likely that's around 86 or 87 because it hasn't updated here in months but here we have the battery life with these conditions so 100 battery usage right there eight hours 32 minutes on screen then right here we have nine hours three minutes right here with about 100 and 25% battery we have 13 hours 51 minutes again here 125% battery 9 hours so it's actually quite quite solid I would say it's similar to iOS 18.3 don't expect a big change like it won't be worse or it won't be way better it's approximately just like iOS 18.3 so the battery life that you're getting now on iOS 18.3 expect to get kind of similar battery life on iOS 18.4 as well now the performance is actually quite good now this is the Geekbench score here with Geekbench 6 on iPhone 15 Pro Max is not the best score ever that I got on this device but it's actually quite solid now the single core score is amazing right there 2949 while well, this multi-core score has actually dropped a bit when i compare to ios 18.3 it has dropped about 100 points it's at 7330 but it's actually still quite good and otherwise just like using it on daily basis you will notice that it's actually quite smooth you will have smoother animations from the control center of course rearranging stuff on the control center also the notification center is very very smooth so expect a pretty solid performance from ios 18.4 now there will be bugs as well of course there are bugs some things that i don't really like is sometimes the icons don't switch to the proper mode light mode dark mode or tint they just stay on the light mode that's really annoying and also sometimes when i just customize the icons it would actually take a lot of time for them to load they will just show up like blank icons then they will load that's really annoying a lot of people also reported right here the status bar icons not syncing with the control center icons as you probably know this is a new feature of ios 18.4 where this toggle right here in this case for wi-fi will basically synchronize with that and will show you in real time how much signal you have that is for the wi-fi and the seller data as well a lot of people are reporting that actually not happening there are also like a few bugs with the notification center that have been reported some minor bugs and of course Worse, like glitches things, things like that but nothing like heavy that will actually interrupt you while using your iphone on daily basis so despite some a few, some bugs here and there it's actually quite good and last but not least let's talk about what's next well most likely we will get that same week another update which will be ios 18.5 beta 1 i wouldn't be surprised if apple actually released it somewhere here on the second or the third maybe of april or maybe even the, on the seventh right here which will be of course the beginning of the other week that way we will have to go through a few beta stages here before it gets released most likely sometime right here in the middle of may because then we're moving to the first beta of ios 19 which now has been confirmed and it will be released on june 9th so expect a new update if you just wanted like 
test betas of iOS, expect a new iOS 17.5 update to come out really, really soon. In a matter of days after iOS 18.4, we should get a first beta of iOS 18.5. Now, of course, there will be a month and a half until iOS 18.5 gets released to the public. So in the meantime, there will be most likely another update for iOS 18.4.1, which should be a minor update with a few fixes, of course, and not any new features. So that's basically it for this video, guys. These are eight things that I believe you must know before you update your iPhone to the new iOS 18.4. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. And of course, subscribe for more. And I will see you on the next one.